What is going on everybody and welcome back to the channel with me Mrs. Z1. We are checking out a new game on the channel. This is called Power to the People. It is available over on Steam if you guys are interested in checking it out for yourself. Link down below as always. But in this game we are going to build and maintain a power grid for a growing community. Now I've already done the first three tutorials. Um, we had a basic and advanced and an expert tutorial. I already went through all three of those. So you don't have to watch the, the boringness. We're just going to play and I'm just going to kind of sum up what was said in the tutorials as we go. So you guys can go ahead and, uh, just see the gameplay. So we're going to go ahead and start. We're going to, I think we're going to do the main campaign. Okay. So it looks like our only options right now are this one. It says it's easy. And this one that says it's easy. Oh, oh, we can choose the difficulty level. Oh, okay. Well, since this is our first one, we're going to go ahead and go with easy. I'm not the best at these type of games, but we're going to give it a try. So it looks like we have a couple perks and challenges. Residential customers only get unhappy after one hour without power as they'll take it as an opportunity to light some candles and cozy up. No power usage spikes for restaurants at dinner time and 20% um, discount on wind turbines as they're produced locally. Pretty cool. And I guess this is showing us the climate information. You have been hired as manager for the local electric company. In order to prove yourself, you need to keep customer satisfaction over 50% during 50 days. Remember the instant the customer satisfaction drops under the limit, it's game over. Do you have what it takes to keep the lights on? Let's go ahead and start this out. So a few things that we should talk about before I start diving into the game is if our satisfaction, you can see our satisfaction rating right up here in the top right hand corner we're at a, at a hundred percent right now if it drops below 50 percent it is game over for us also we have the clock paused right now as soon as we push play for the day we are not able to pause it again until the next day so we want to make sure when it, the clock is paused we are getting everything that needs done done okay we also have a few more things that we need to keep in mind we have a new city that is going to be built in seven days and the game is paused until you place your first building okay first thing first i think we're gonna go ahead and start with oh we have money this time i gotta pay attention to the money okay we have all these options for power plants but i think we're gonna go ahead and start with a coal-fired plant to begin with now we cannot place this within the city limits so we are able to place it anywhere over here in the green okay we're gonna go ahead and place that right there wait 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 uh oh my gosh okay apparently we're not paused at all okay we need to get in a substation in here, a basic substation, and that cannot be placed within the city limits as well. Now we're going to get in our high voltage power lines and drag that into here. And then we're going to get our low voltage power lines. And we are going to bring power to the people. Okay, I think our people are happy. We have power, yes. Okay, that was a little chaotic. I thought it was gonna give me some time to build all my stuff before uh, before it went, but okay, guess not. Looks like things are going pretty good. Looks like we might be at our peak right now, or we're about to be. Satisfaction is still at 100%, so that is good. And it looks like we're... Uh, Getting to the end of the day here pretty soon. Oh, we can fast forward to the end of the day. How cool is that? Okay, end of day one reached. Now we get to see how much money we made. We made um, $1,722. 
Our income was 4,623, but unfortunately we had some expenses. Fixed in uh, fixed expenses. Oh my gosh, our fixed expenses are pretty high. Power generation cost, uh, power line maintenance, loan repayments. We don't have any loans, so we are good. Uh, okay, let's continue on. Okay, so right now we are paused until the next day or until we actually push the play button. Um, hmm. I do think I want to do something. I want to get a energy storage facility built because the energy storage facility will hold some energy for us just in case there's a power outage. Um, our plant has to be worked on. Um, any of that stuff happens. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to go with this lithium ion battery farm. And once again, it cannot be placed in the city limits. And you can tell what the city limits is, is because it has like these dashed lines around the city. So we are actually going to place this guy right here. And we are going to grab the high voltage power lines and we're gonna drag it out there. So now we are storing some energy here in the lithium battery farm. And I think that's pretty good for right now. So we're going to continue fast forward. Let's see how the day goes. Awesome. We've reached the end of day two. Oh, our income went up, but our expenses went up as well. Darn it. Okay. We are doing pretty good. Efficiency reflects how efficient your distribution network power lines and substation is the shorter the pass between your substations and your consumers, the better. If you reach a 90% efficiency, then you'll get a five star rating. Okay. Uh, that looks pretty good. Oh, we're at 96%. Why are we at 96%? Does somebody not have power? I don't understand. Does somebody not have power? I am not sure. Oh, you know what? I didn't extend out the power line this way. Maybe that will help. I extended out the power line further out this way. We'll see. We have a new city being built in six days, but we do have two research points to use. Now, this is our research tree. Um, hmm. Increase res residential customer satisfaction by five percentage points. Reduces power consumption of residential buildings by 5%. Maintenance downtime in power plants is reduced by 50%. Substations can operate at maximum capacity for a longer time before exploding. Um, exploding is not good, but I think we're going to go ahead and go with this one because when our power plant does need to undergo maintenance, it will be reduced by 50% and that will be, that will be very good. So, yes, we want to use our points on that. And I wonder where the new city is going to be built. Let's see here. Our lithium ion farm is already completely full. I'm kind of thinking maybe we should get another one of those in here. We'll put it right next to it. And we need some power lines going to there as well. Okay, so now that one will fill up. And let's go. Let's continue on to the next day. Okay, still have a customer satisfaction of 96%. So, I mean, that's good. Our profit is getting lower. <laughs> but, I mean, we're still making money. So, that's good, right? Now, we do have another research point because we get one research point for every day we finish in the game. But as you can see, nothing is one research point. So we're going to continue on and we will see what happens at the end of this day. Angry mob. Oh, no. A local restaurant has decided to experiment with different types of tropical fruits on pizza. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Comment down below, do you like pineapple on pizza? Because I like pineapple on pizza. <laughs> this has made some locals very angry. According to the social network Instabook, a mob will take over the streets of the town tomorrow. Oh my gosh. Okay, I don't even know what to do with that information. 
I don't even know what to do with that information. Like, what do we do with that? Okay, let's continue fast forwarding. End of day four has been reached. We made, oh, we made over $3,000 today. Yes, but it looks like, did we get another building in here? Okay, so we don't have power all the way drawn out this way. So let's get some more of these lines put in. There we go. Now they should have power. Our customer satisfaction is going up. Today's the day we deal with the mob though. So I don't know. <laughs> I don't know how that's going to go. Let's see. Everything is still looking pretty good. <laughs> okay, where's this mob? Maybe we should fast forward a little bit more. Oh no. Oh no. Is did, did the mob did the mob do that? Did the mob do that? Oh, yes, the mob is right there. Oh no. What are you doing, mob? We're, we're repairing that. We're gonna need to repair this one as well. We have an angry mob. Somebody call the police. Oh, the police is already there. Power lines might be damaged. Um, okay, we did it. Our satisfaction went down to 95% though. We made more money though. We made $4,000 today. So, I mean, that's good. It looks like everything's getting power. We did extend out this way. So, I am going to extend out our power lines this way just in case we put any more buildings in here. I want to be ready for that. Um, I think everything else is looking good. Okay, we're doing good things. I think, I think at least, I think we're doing good things. <laughs> um, new city is going to be built in three days now. Let's see what today brings. Speed things up. Oh, no, 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 no. What? We got mobs again? Mobs, leave my stuff alone. New city is going to be built in 47 hours. Oh, I don't know if I'm ready for this. I guess we'll find out. <laughs> Let's continue on. Okay, we made over $4,000. It looks like we're getting some more buildings in here as well. As you can see, this, this building just popped right up. So, I mean, we're producing more power to more people. We are giving more, pe more power to the people. So... This is good. That's what the name of the game is. So I guess we're doing the right thing, right? Okay, so let's continue on next day. We'll speed it up. Okay, making even more money today. And it looks like we got another new building over here. Wait, this might be new too. This little suburban area. That might be a new area as well. Oh, looks like we are going to have some more stuff over here. So while I am at it, let's just go ahead and get some more power lines. Ran over this away. I accidentally put another power line right here. And I haven't ever used the demolish button. So let's see what it what it does. Ha! Huh. Okay. I mean, we didn't really need to do that. But, you know, I just wanted to try it out. New city is being built in eight hours. Can we see where the, sil the, where the city is being built? I don't see where the city is being built. So I guess we just have to continue going and uh, see what happens. Okay, so the new city is over this way. Oh, customer satisfaction is now 93%. Oh, and we have another new city being built in 13 days, but our profit is going up. We made $5,000. Okay. Now... Can we run power lines over the water? I don't know if we can do that. I guess we'll find out. Okay, it looks like we can. Okay, oh, we got the mayor in here. I'm really impressed with how well your power, power grid is performing lately. The average customer satisfaction in our city, according to the latest polls, is 98%. Bravo. Okay, awesome. We are doing good. Okay, so I need to get another substation in here a basic substation is where we're going to go with and i'm going to put that guy right here and now we have 
power from this plant going into the substation. Okay, so we have power being ran all the way over here. Kind of feel like maybe we should get in some more of these lithium battery farms now that we have another town, but uh, money is running low. So we are going to wait on that. Let's continue on. We shall see how, how this goes with having two cities. Oh no, what the heck happened? We'll repair that. Okay, satisfaction is going up a little bit. Oh, we have some research points to use. We'll definitely have to use that today at the end of the day. Uh, let's go ahead and fast forward a little bit. Okay, we made $7,500. Yes, we are improving, guys. And we have seven research points to use. Substations can operate at maximum capacity for a longer time before exploding. That sounds like something we probably should have. Increases power output of all power plants by 5%. Reduces power loss at substations by 25%. Let's go ahead and go with this one because there is a power loss between the plants to the substations. And the least amount we have from that is probably the better. So let's go ahead and research that. We have two more research points available. And we're just going to continue on. I'm probably going to fast forward here a few days and then we'll get back into it. Okay, it is now the end of the day. We have made almost $9,000. We keep on popping stuff over here. So... I'm kind of thinking... We might put another like substation right here in line and drag that into like this power and that might take down it might stop this from like this area right here from pulling so much power so let's go ahead and put in another substation okay we have another basic substation it's already going into there we just need to get some of these lines put in there we go okay so we're starting to give power over here as well hopefully that stops us having to repair our power lines over here let's see how this goes okay we made eleven thousand five hundred and sixty five dollars we are doing good customer satisfaction is still at 98 percent Pretty soon, I really want to get some wind turbines in here. I think that might help because every single day I've been noticing that one of these lithium battery farms are like depleting all the way and then it fills back up by the end of the day. So we're definitely using more power than just what this coal fired plant is able to produce every day. So, and we're also going to be getting a new city in here. Oh. I don't know how this is going to work. We shall see. We need to make some more money. Made $12,000 today. It looks like some more buildings are popping up, but we're handling the supply just fine. So that is good. Um, still have a new city being built very, very, very soon. So let's just continue on. I think we're, I'm probably just going to play this out until the new city is built. And then we will go from there. Oh no, a tree has fallen. Now we need to repair this. Cannot be repaired until a bulldozer. Use the bulldozer tool to... Okay, we got to get rid of this tree. And now we are able to repair it. Okay, I'm just going to continue moving along. I'll probably bring you guys back in at once that new city pops up. Okay, so we still have five more days till the new city is being built, but we just got some uh, some new information that I thought I should share. A research center is coming into the area. It's going to be built on the outskirts and the new building will demand lots of power, but will also bring us high profit. The building needs to be fed directly with a high voltage line. Okay. Research center will be built, built uh, close later on. Okay, so it's going to be built close to this town over here. 
Now, also while you guys were gone, um, I kept on popping. I kept on breaking power lines and stuff. So I actually had to make another substation to come into here to start powering some of these. Some more of this town. So things are going good. Otherwise, we're making about 15,000 every day. Oh, the research center was already built. Holy cow. Okay. Oh, we almost made 20,000. Holy cow. And the new city is being built in four days. So I'm going to go ahead and take care of this and uh, get back, back, get back to you guys. Okay, now that we have that new research center built, we are making $25,000 in profit every day. That is pretty amazing. Now, in order to power this, I just went ahead and made a wind turbine. We can always add more wind turbines as well. And we have a new city being built in three days. I don't know where the new city is going to be built. We shall see. Okay. <laughs> We, we're going to have a problem today, for sure. The new city is going to be built in eight hours. And the coal-fired plant is going to be going down for maintenance in 14 hours. Awesome! But we have a whole bunch of research points that I haven't been using, so we're going to go ahead and do that. Um, increases capacity of all storage facilities. Um, that sounds like a very good one to have. Improved... Cable, increased capacity of all power lines by 10%. Heck yes, we want that. Increased power output of all power plants by 5%. Yes, that sounds like a great one to have as well. And we've just used all of our research points. Okay. We'll see how today pans out. Okay, so our new city is going to be is built over here. And how's everything else looking? I mean, everything else is looking decent. And it looks like we're going to get a whole nother city again in another 10 days. <laughs> okay, this looks like it's going to be a much smaller city. Hmm. Let's see. I'm kind of thinking the best thing for us might just be to... How's, how's this doing? Oh. Okay, that's pretty much like running as much as we have. Maybe we should put another like coal plant or something over here to power this. And those people didn't have any power, so I brought power to the people over there. Okay, so we're going to make another coal-fired plant. Now, we're kind of limited on where we can make these. So, we are going to make this one right here. Oh my gosh, that might have been a mistake. Look how much money that used. Oh my gosh, I wasn't even paying attention to how much money that cost. Oh shoot, we might not have any... We might not be able to bring power to the people. Oh, snap. Okay. Oh, we got another $32,000. That will be super helpful. We need to bring power over this way. And we need to get us a substation in here. So we'll go ahead and put that substation right there. And... We are now bringing power to these people. I hope they enjoy the power because <laughs> we almost have no money. <laughs> but I'm thinking having this coal plant over here will help us a lot because I'm having a lot of problems in this city because it's getting so large. And we'll be able to put another substation that kind of runs this area possibly. And then maybe another substation to run some of the area over here as well. I think this is going to go pretty good. Where, how we have this going. Probably should get some more of these battery farms, though. Yeah, probably should get some more battery farms on this guy. But let's run through this because we need money. Yes. 
yes we need we need to get a substation over here because look at this we are having to repair so let's go ahead and just grab this substation right now and we will have this go to here hopefully we have enough money to complete this i don't know if we are going to today oh no oh my gosh we have three dollars left three dollars okay hopefully that will help hopefully this will help a little bit we have three dollars left i can't even believe that oh my gosh we have a new city being built in nine days as well but we're making thirty three thousand dollars a day holy cow okay and this is on easy mode this sounds this just seems so crazy that this is on easy mode and we're having this much going on um okay so Let's see, how's things running over here with this one substation? Oh, we don't have power run over here. Okay, let's fix that right now. Everybody should have power. Okay. Unmet demand is at 0%. I need to continue to look at this. and let's continue on we only have two research points right now i don't think that's enough to really do a whole lot more okay we are starting to have problems with this substation and the line going out here i think that is our cue to make that basic substation for over here Thirty-nine thousand. oh my gosh we're making so much money but this is costing us so much money to do this. Okay, now we have power coming over here from this substation. Um, hopefully that will help. This is only powering this one thing. Are you kidding me? This is crazy. I don't know why it's doing that, but you know, whatever. A uh, new city being built in eight days. Okay, today is the day. Today is the day that our new city is going to be built. As you can see, things are getting larger. Things are getting crazier. And we are just continuing to uh, work through it. Okay, our new city is over here. Kind of way away from everything else. But we're going to have to get some power over here. We are going to... We have enough money. We are going to... I'm thinking we might just go with a coal-fired plant again. And we will go ahead and build that guy right there. And of course, we're going to need a substation. We're kind of having problems with people being unhappy of because like the cities are expanding and like, look, our substations are actually like inside the towns now. So they're getting a little unhappy about that. So I want to try and get our substations kind of a little ways away. But we have power to these people. <laughs> there we go. And we'll go ahead and throw a battery farm right there and continue on. We've got another, we have another city being built in 10 days and we are on day 30, making 58,000 a day, which is pretty awesome. Um, some people don't have power though. Oh, you know why they don't have power is because the the coal plant is down. Darn it. Okay. Coal plant will be up very soon. We're still at a 96% customer satisfaction. So, I mean, that's not horrible. I did get a few more things on the research tree. Looks like we are able to unlock something else. Increase power output of wind turbines up to 10%. Allow them to operate with lower wind speeds than usual. Yes, we have a few of those. So let's go ahead and grab that one and we'll continue on we have 19 more days okay so i just built our newest city and things are going pretty good um i went ahead and just 
made some wind turbines to power this tiny city for right now because we are already on day 40 so we only need 10 more days and then we we win the game so <laughs> we're just gonna continue on some of our people are getting upset uh most of the time why people are getting upset is that they're too close to the substation so i've been trying to demolish the substations and build them a little bit further out and look at how much profit we are making over a hundred thousand a day craziness so i uh will uh, just continue chugging along cryptomania a shipment from a computer parts distributor containing 12 storage crates of graphics cards have been delivered to Tatine. It looks like they're going to use them to mine cryptocurrencies. Oh, that means the power is probably going to go up there. Yeah, this was the one that I was fueling with <laughs> the wind turbines. I don't know if we uh, will be able to do that anymore, but it looks like I need to... Put some more lines up because it looks like we are running out of a few things do not have power i don't know how this town this is our first city that we had started and they just keep on like putting up buildings places that i just i'm just like okay they have to be done now and they're not done there's no way they're done because they just continue making more okay so let's see where this area is It doesn't have power. Oh, it's this area right here. And we're popping stuff. Oh, not good. Come on. Let's do this okay because <laughs> we only have a few more days left. We have three days left. Okay, we definitely need to work out something right here because yeah we got some problems we got some big problems okay so we're getting to the end of the game i'm having a little bit of issues because this area right here is super overloaded and it keeps on busting the power lines and i keep on having to re having to fix it just like that now we're having to fix it it's going to stop power for a while but the problem is I need some more substations and I can't, I mean, I guess I might be able to put like a power line this way. No, I can't do that. I don't know how I would fix this, but we are just about done. So next time we play this, uh, definitely there's some things we need to think about. We definitely need to, uh, we definitely need to try and have things further away. I think like these substations and stuff, because these cities grow so fast. Okay. We finished victory. We have managed to keep the company afloat and customers happy for 50 days. Okay. Awesome. Our total score was 214,242. Now, if you guys do end up getting this game for yourself, let me know if you end up playing this map, what was your total score? Would love to know. But that's actually going to end it for today's episode. Thank you guys so much for coming out and watching. I hope you did enjoy. If you did, please don't forget to leave a like. If you haven't already, maybe consider subscribing as well. And I'll see you guys on the next episode. Bye, everybody.